In John 12, 28, Jesus prayed, Father, glorify your name. He's asking for the very same thing. He's praying, Jesus is praying for the very same thing that he taught us to pray. Father, glorify your name. That is to say, make your name great. We pray that with Jesus, but only Jesus could pray what he would say a little bit later prior to his death in John 17. John 17, verse 4, Father, and listen to what he said, I glorified you on earth having accomplished the work that you gave me to do. Jesus said, God, Father, I have hallowed your name. The answer, get this, the answer to the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples, hallowed be thy name, is Jesus himself. If you want to see the perfect hallowing of God's name, look no further than to Jesus Christ. And when you look to Jesus Christ, the one who perfectly hallowed God's name, know that your sins, every time you profane the name of God, are forgiven. That he cleanses you. That he washed you for all the times that you profaned God's name. And how was God's name made great, hallowed by Christ? Not through pomp or fame, but through his being made small. His humiliation. Becoming a worm and not a man, as Psalm 22 says, despised and rejected by men. Jesus hallowed the name of God by becoming weak so that we might pray with confidence God hallowed be your name because Christ has hallowed the name of God so that each of us as we seek the Lord as we live our lives might sanctify God's name in our own in our own hearts amen